Hey my beautiful Pisces peeps, what's going on everybody? It's Anne from Cancer Moon's Tarot and we're coming at you with your June 2023 tarot reading. How are you? I hope all is well. I just want to mention before we start, if you're interested in personal readings, products, and so much more, feel free to check out my website, cancermoonstarot.com. It's going to be the first link in the description below. But Pisces, how are you? I hope you're doing good. And let's see what's going on here for the fish. All right, what do we got showing up here for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding June 2023. What information is going to be showing up here for the Zodiac sign of the fish? Let's go ahead and check it out. Starting out with the overall energy for Pisces. We do have here a Five of Cups showing up for you. Having a look at the current energy. We got a Ten of Swords, what you're dealing with this month. We do have the Two of Cups. And looking at the current outcome, we have here the Four of Wands showing up as well. So Pisces, pretty interesting start. You know, we do start out here with the Five of Cups, which does represent kind of that energy of disappointment. You know, it's kind of about being in a space where you are upset that something here is faded or something here is gone. Because as you can notice, the Three Cups are knocked over. The Three of Cups in the Tarot, they represent joy, they represent happiness. So you kind of feel that something that you really enjoyed is no longer available at this time in your life. But the thing about the Five of Cups is that there is is two cups still left standing and of course we have here the two of cups showing up which represents there's more out there for you in the future there's more out there for you to connect with so i think that this month is about navigating through the loss of something looking at your current energy we do have here the ten of swords ten of swords does represent an ending but with every ending comes in a new beginning with every door that closes there's a new door to open so i really get that feeling for you jumping into the month of june where it's like you know what i'm trying not to be too focused, I guess, on the ending at hand. I'm not trying to allow this to completely drag me down into a very, very unhappy energy. I'm trying to be positive about what's to come, but ultimately, I'm just not aware of what's coming. So it's a little it's a little difficult to navigate. It's like a bittersweet kind of energy, you know? I think you're excited for the new, but you're still upset that maybe something is no longer here. And that's definitely understandable. You know, looking at what you're dealing with here, Two of Cups, you want to be connected with someone or connected with something that's really going to help you out and make you happy. So you're looking for good things to align with. And I don't blame you for that in the slightest. I mean, looking at the temporary or the current outcome, if you will, we got here the Four of Wands, which represents I do have a lot of good things going for me. I do have a lot of good things in my life to be grateful for right now at this time. So even though there's a loss of something showing up here in June, even though that sucks and hurts, it's not like my life has completely gone downhill. Like I still have a lot of good things going for me. So you're trying to keep up a positive morale is what it feels like here so far. All right, let's have a look here and see what the challenge is this month. And that challenge is going to be the two of pentacles showing up here for you. So the challenge here is maintaining a positive attitude at a very good rate. It seems like you're kind of going through the motions right now. Sometimes you're looking at everything that's happening in a very positive manner. Other times you may feel really low and down and negative and you're just going through the feelings right now. You're going through the motions and it's something that's incredibly understandable. I think that it's going to get a lot more easier with time. All right. Having a look here at what you can expect throughout the rest of May. We got the death card or sorry, not May, June. We got here the death card, though, which is scorpionic energy. So it does represent change and transformation. So things are going to change for you. And I certainly think that your feelings are going to change for you as well. Looking at the official outcome, we do have here the Empress, which is beautiful coming into the month of June because the Empress represents that you're going to be able to grow. You're going to be able to move past your situation. And most importantly, you're going to see the beauty and the value within who you are and know that whoever comes next or whatever comes next is going to be so damn lucky to have you. So I think that energetically or energy wise, things are going to pick up for you right now. You might kind of feel here, there, and everywhere. You might feel like your emotions are all over the place, but I think that moving throughout June, you're going to inevitably move to a very positive place here is what I'm seeing for you, okay? Now, let's go ahead and clarify the Five of Cups. Why do we have here the Five of Cups? And we have here the Seven of Swords. Unfortunately, this could be the energy that maybe somebody here has done something deceptive or hurt or harmful or hurtful to you. Could have been a friend, family member, lover, could have been a co-worker, could have been you know, your boss, maybe. Maybe you just had a boss who did something that wasn't so kind. But Seven of Swords represents somebody here bringing in a painful situation. Clarifying the Ten of Swords, we have here the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like your situation here ended very slowly. It wasn't something that ended overnight. It wasn't something that was quickly over. 
So let's say, for example, Pisces, if this is representing a relationship and the Seven of Swords is representing your person cheating on you, it wasn't a slow ending. You might have known about the cheating, but maybe you tried to continue to make it work. But as time kept progressing over and over, you realized that I just can't accept that I've been cheated on or I can't move past it. Maybe you thought in the beginning I could, but as time kept progressing, I'm realizing I just can't. So it's one of those situations that feels like it ended rather slowly, like you tried to work past it, but you couldn't. You know, this could be a friend deceiving you. This could be a friend saying something very hurtful to you or taking a very hurtful action against you. And you really tried to move past it. But it was at that point where it's like, I've tried for far too long and my feelings are just not changing. So the truth is, is that I can't really forgive this right now at this point in my life. And I don't want to move forward. And that's the realization you're having here in June. You know, you know what you want, two of cups. You want to be connected to someone or be connected to a situation where you're respected, where you're unconditionally loved, and where you're valued. And you didn't feel that based upon someone's actions, all right? is what I'm seeing here so far. Clarifying the two of cups, we got here the three of swords. Yeah, the last thing I want to do is be hurt. So wherever I go, I think anywhere is better than here, but I want to make sure wherever I go, I end up in good arms and end up in good hands. I don't want to get hurt again seems to be kind of the main theme here showing up for you. And as I previously mentioned, Four of Cups, you have a lot of other good things going for you right now in your life, but this is kind of the main thing that's been a bit of a dimmer to your shine. You know, looking at the Four of Cups, let's clarify it, we have here the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like with the Four of Wands showing up here, you know, you have a lot of other seeds you've planted in life that are currently growing, like I said, I get that feeling that you have a lot of good things going for you at this time, Pisces. I would say if you choose to focus on the good things that are happening for you right now, you will definitely notice a change in your energy. But most importantly, you'll give yourself more time to nourish and grow said things. Let's say Seven of Pentacles right now is you focusing on your career. Maybe with the Four of Wands showing up here, your career is going well. It's very stable and you're doing really great with what it is you're doing. Seven of Pentacles says put more energy into it. Plant more seeds in your career. You will definitely see much more growth. So it's a good time here, Pisces, to focus on what you got going for you because you can take all that energy of loss and throw it into energy of what it is you now want to grow. You see what I'm saying? So Pisces, this month is about not so much focusing on your losses, but instead cutting your losses and focusing on what can you grow and what can you gain going forward. And you are going to receive lots of growth here with the Empress, which is what I really love to see for you. Now, when I looked at the challenge for you, Two of Pentacles, I mentioned here that the challenge is staying in a very stable, positive attitude. You know, you're going through the motions right now, and I think you need to let yourself do so. You know, the last thing you want to do is fake positivity or engage in toxic positivity, which is that energy of people are like, yeah, you'll be fine. Everything's going to be perfect. Everything's amazing. And if it's like, not amazing, if it's not fine, if it's not perfect, I want you to know that that's okay too. It's okay to not be okay. So coming into the month of June, don't try to force yourself to be positive, to be happy, to, you know, be incredibly in this most amazing high vibrational energy if that's just not what it is you're feeling, you know? If you feel hurt about something that someone has done to you, you are allowed to feel that pain. And honestly, the more you do feel your pain, the more you give yourself the opportunity to heal because feeling is indeed healing. So Pisces, I don't want you to try to fake anything or try to push your emotions away and just embrace a positive mindset, let it all unfold naturally, which I do believe it's going to, because looking at where things are going in June, you do have here the death card. So nonetheless, your energy will naturally start to attune to a more positive energy because you will end up healing after all, okay? So don't try to force positivity is what I want to say to here to you. Just allow it to unfold here naturally. Now, speaking of changes, what kind of changes can Piscean expect with that death card? We got the Five of Swords, the page of wands and the temperance. There you go. Like I said, you're going to heal naturally. I think right now, Pisces, you're kind of over the five of cups or in June, you're going to be over the five of cups, which means you're not going to be so saddened anymore that somebody here has hurt you, but you might start moving into energies of I'm angry you know, five of swords. So you moved out of the sad stage, then you moved into the anger stage where you might have a lot of resentment towards someone for what they've done, or there just might be a lot of rage inside of you. But I really do feel with the page of wands as time keeps progressing, 
you're going to end up shifting your focus and where your focus ends up shifting to is the temperance card which is a card that represents being very emotionally balanced so pisces you will be moving through these energies rather quickly just let everything happen naturally all right is what i want to say here for you now lastly like i said for the overall outcome coming into the month of june i do see a lot of growth coming in here for you and i see you recognizing your value you know you deserve the best and if you weren't treated the best in your past and previous situation then this isn't what you want anymore and that's the thing about the five of cups it's like at first you're crying over spilled milk but now you recognize there's better out there for me because i know my value and i know my worth so with that being said i'm not crying over this anymore seven of swords i'm interested in what's to come two of cups Mm-hmm. absolutely so with that all being said i like it so far for you pisces let's go ahead and have a look here and see what pisces needs to hear jumping into the month of june 2023 what does piscean need to hear coming into the month of june whatever message it may be. We have here the Four of Pentacles, we have here the Three of Pentacles, and then lastly, we have here the Queen of Wands. So we got a Four of Pence, a Three of Pence, and a Queen of Wands. Now, Three of Pentacles is the card of everything working out. Four of Pentacles is the card here that can represent energies of holding on or being more in recluse or more in your shell. I get the feeling here, Pisces, that the more expressive you can be and the more you allow yourself to get out of your shell, the more success you're going to see this month. So what I mean by this, Pisces, is take back your power. If somebody here has hurt you, don't allow them to have all the power over you. You know, express how you feel about it. You can talk to people about what happened. You can talk to people about what you went through. I mean, at the end of the day, owning the fact that somebody here made a mistake or that somebody here has hurt you and saying, hey, it is what it is, whatever's happened, happened, but I'm not going to let that continue to define me is incredibly powerful. You know, if you take away the power from the person you're dealing with based upon what it is they've done and know and recognize that you deserve better, you're going to feel much better about yourself going forward. You know, so I definitely feel that the more you can empower yourself, Queen of Wands, the better things are going to work out for you here, Three of Pentacles. So that's the main message coming through here for you guys that I feel like you really needed to hear coming into the month of June. Now, I do want to take a look here and see if there's any advice coming in from the universe for Piscean. We had a Knight of Swords automatically jump out for you. Knight of Swords here does represent moving fast onto a new path. I really feel like leaving behind this past situation as quickly as you can is going to be very, very good for you. I don't think that it's about saying that you need to heal quickly, but making sure that you cut ties quickly is going to benefit you. So Pisces, for example, let's say you were connecting with somebody, maybe somebody cheated on you. It was a long drawn out situation. Then a breakup officially happened. Knight of Swords here says, all right, don't associate with that person anymore. Move forward. Do your thing. You know, in terms of healing, heal at your own pace. But in terms of physicality, physically distance yourself from that person because it's best for you right now to not be around that individual. You get what I'm saying? So I really do feel here that that would be what's best for you. Now, we got an Ace of Wands showing up and we got here a King of Swords showing up here as well. Ace of Wands is the energy of creativity. In terms of advice from the universe right now, focusing on where you want to go next is really what's going to be amazing for you, but the universe wants you to dream big. The universe is trying to say, don't necessarily wait and see what comes next. This is the time to be the dreamy Pisces you are. This is the time to really use your creativity to create a new reality for yourself. If you have gone through a breakup and you are like, screw it, I'm not focused on love anymore, but I'm focused on my career, what do you imagine yourself doing? What would be a dream of yours to pursue at this time? Use your creativity, put your creativity into it, and you'll be surprised at what kind of career you can land yourself and what it is you can create. So I definitely feel like using creative creativity is going to be really important. And King of Swords showing up here, it is the energy of restriction. I would definitely say, Pisces, be more aware this month of who you want to associate with and who you want to give your energy to. Because if there are people that are coming in that are draining towards you, if there are people that are coming in with drama, if there are people who just aren't there to see you thrive and see you happy, then those are the people you don't want to associate with. So the King of Swords here says, it's time for spring cleaning. Make sure you're associating associating yourself with an environment that wants to see you happy, that wants to see you grow, that wants to support you, and anybody within your environment that goes against that, don't be afraid to not include them in your life or in your plans, all right? It's something that I want to say here as well, but... With that all being said here for you, Pisces, it's a pretty interesting June here ahead. You know, I think the biggest transformation you're going to see is that Three of Cups, I thought I lost something. But the truth is, is they lost me. Whether it's a job, whether it's a person that you dated, whether it's a friend, it's like, 
I thought at first I lost this specific person, but the truth is, is that they lost me. And I now recognize that with the overall outcome, the Empress, that I'm the valuable person, that I am valuable and I am deserving and worthy of something good to connect with, Two of Cups. So despite all the pain that I went through, I'm not going to fake it till I make it. I'm just going to allow myself to heal. I'm going to allow myself to distance myself from anything that's unhealthy, and I'm going to take that energy of disappointment that I've experienced and channel it into something positive because I want to build something positive in my life. And I think that is exactly what's happening here with that Ace of Wands and that Knight of Swords showing up here for you too. So take that energy of disappointment, transmute it, transform it into that energy of creativity and create something wonderful in your life because you deserve it after going through a pretty intense situation here. All right. All right, Pisces. I love you all very dearly. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do hope you enjoyed your June 2023 tarot reading. Of course, if it resonates, do let me know down in the comment section below. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I'd be happy to have you. And with that being said, have a wonderful June and I'll see you all in the next video. Much love and have yourselves a good one. Peace.